Southerners occupy a unique position in America. You live better than the rest of us. You eat better. You drink better. I wonder if uh, you find time, or want to find time, to do business. But great men of Southerners don't. You don't have to convince me that you're the right people for the deal. I wouldn't be here if you hadn't convinced me six months ago. You want the mill here, and I want it here. It's none of my business to find out why you want it. To bring the machine to the cotton, and not the cotton to the machine. And there, buddy, goes the man who has opened the door to our future. What? Our future! Yours, mine, Ben's, and Oscar's, and the children. Our future! You understand what Ben means, Regina? Yes, Oscar, I understand. I understood immediately. Did you, Regina? Well, when he lifted his glass to drink, I closed my eyes and saw the bricks going into place. Ben means that $225,000 is a lot of money. I know the terms, and I know it's a lot of money. It is. What Ben means is that we are ready with our two-thirds of the money, but your third, Horace's third, does not seem to be ready. I've given my word that Horace will put up the money. That should be enough. The contracts will be signed this week, and Marshall will want to see our money soon after. They'll make you! They'll make you! Foolish, oh, Aunt Buddy! I'm grown now. So nobody can make me do anything! I just couldn't stand to think about Buddy. it! Buddy! Get your coat. Damn shame what they did to you. Keep your voice down. And don't you worry. When I die, you'll have as much as the rest of them. All I know is big things are going on. Everybody's gonna be high tone rich. Big rich. You too. I have waited long enough for your answer. I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm very tired now, Regina. And then Mr. Leo said you got to leave early because he got something to do. <laughs> Mr. Leo was telling the truth. <laughs>